Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Neha Tineja. So I am a public health specialist by profession, but a mentor, educator and guide by passion. So today I've come up with a very important video. It's a very small video, but on a very important topic, epidemiological indicators of tuberculosis. Yes, it's a very confusing topic. Uh, students ask a lot of questions about this and trust me, one MCQ from the chapter of TB will definitely turn out in our entrance examinations and it could also be from this particular topic. For university examinations also, this question comes for five marks. So let us see what it is. Before we begin, Again, uh, I just want to tell you that at Unacademy, as you all know, I teach on Unacademy platform PSM. So we are starting a new batch, which is last mile to crack NEET PG, which is starting on 8th of February till March 21. Okay, right just before your exams, it's going to end. So you can become a part of this batch course also, which is starting on the 8th of February. All you need to do is download the Unacademy app, enter NEET PG and use my code Dr. Nee hurting to get a 10 percentage 10 percent off on your subscription how is this batch different and what are we going to offer you that we've not offered before so it is going to help you stand out from the crowd it is going to um, you know give you a very uh, uh, unique position in the in your preparation okay this includes last minute revision sessions most important and highly probable image based questions it also provides a recap of different types of questions, high yield and important topics we are going to touch with emphasis and also we are going to have on doubt clearing session. So what are you waiting for? You can definitely enroll to this and get ahead in your preparation and gain confidence for your exams which is on 18th of April 2021. All right. Okay. Also, I'm doing a crash course on community medicine, which has started on 4th of February. So it's purely a revision oriented batch. So if anybody wants to subscribe, can become a part of this batch also. Do use my code PSM10 or, or Dr. Neha10 to get 10% off all on these batch courses. All right. Okay, so let us start with the MCQs uh, for the day. The first question, this is just a small understanding of this topic. One TB infected person can infect how many people in one year? Is it 20, 10, 30 or 5? Well, the correct answer to this students is 10. Okay, so every TB sputum positive patient can infect 10 to 15 individuals in a year all right so this is very very important and if suppose those tb uh, people who are suffering from tb are left untreated then what happens without treatment 50 percent of the tb patients all right without treatment 50 percent of tb patients will go on to die okay this is an important point 25 percent everybody will remain healthy ticket 25 percent healthy range will remain healthy and another 25 percent will go on to develop will go on to develop chronic infectious tb all right so this is very very important just for your knowledge also this could come as an mcq that one tb infected person can go on to infect 10 to 15 individuals in a year now let us proceed with our epidemiological indicators okay now uh, the question here says incidence of TB in a community is measured by sputum smear positivity, positive tuberculin test, sputum culture or tuberculin conversion index. Now students please remember whenever we talk about the epidemiological indicators of TB okay epidemiological indicators of TB there are four things that you need to know the first one is Number one, the first indicator is incidence of TB in a community. All right. So this is incidence of TB in a community. Next one is what is the incidence of TB? Like or we could say incidence of TB infection. Okay. Like here it's asked incidence of TB in a community. Here we are asking incidence of TB. Here I'm saying you the epidemiological indicators are incidence of TB infection. Okay. Prevalence of TB infection. All right. 
then we have incidence of tb disease all right so incidence of tb disease and the fourth indicator that we have is prevalence of tb disease so i'm going to try to explain you all of these uh, four epidemiological indicators meanwhile what is the answer over here incidence of tb so when i say incidence of tb all right more importantly i'm trying to ask you disease so if i ask you incidence of tb disease in a community that is given by sputum smear positivity all right i'll explain you why how uh, let's look at the second mcq what is the practical index of tb case load in the community incidence rate prevalence rate tuberculosis conversion index or secondary attack rate well i've asked you the tuberculosis the tuberculosis case load that means how many cases are there so this will include both new and old so this is given by the prevalence rate all right then one more mcq we have best indicator of trend of tuberculosis unaffected by current control measures is it annual risk of infection prevalence of tb infection primary percentage of primary drug resistance or percentage of multi drug resistance so here's uh, the correct answer everyone is annual risk of infection so now after seeing this mcq let's try to understand all of these indicators and come back and try those mcq again so first one that you should know is what is incidence of tb infection everybody okay so incidence of tb infection guys is also known as nothing but annual risk of infection theek hai this is also known as annual risk of infection or ari this is also known as tuberculosis okay tuberculosis conversion index now what is this tuberculosis conversion index this simply means that all those people proportion of people okay who were tuberculin negative how many become tuberculin positive over a period of 1 year or we that is tuberculin conversion index all those who were tuberculin negative how many become tuberculin positive over a period of 1 year that is known as tuberculin conversion index or annual risk of infection for annual risk of infection to understand it more better to even understand it better we can write it is nothing but the proportion of population theek hai proportion of population which will be what which will be primarily okay which will be primarily infected okay with tuberculosis which will be primarily infected with tuberculosis among who among the non infected okay in course of one year all right so if we take a span of one year what is the proportion of population who will get infected with tb among those non infected in a course of one year or we can say all those who were tuberculin negative how many become tuberculin positive now if we say our tuberculin test is positive what does it mean that we've been exposed to the tb bacilli all right so how many in a period of one year all those who were tuberculin negative how many become tuberculin positive so this is known as tuberculin conversion index or also annual risk of infection this is the questions that are asked from this this is also the best indicator of trend of tuberculosis okay what is the trend of tb this is the better this is the best indicator for this so what is the best indicator of trend of tb unaffected by current control measures that means whatever are the measures that we have adopted in our national tuberculosis control program in spite of those measures people who were tuberculin negative have become tuberculin positive therefore this tells us it becomes the best indicator of trend of tb uh, who are unaffected by the current control measures also we could say it is one of the best indicators for evaluation of tb problem okay 
TB problem and trend of TB or trend basically problem and trend in the community. Okay, so these are some of the important questions from incidence of TB. Um, infection which is known as annual risk of infection or tuberculosis conversion index now what is the current ari of our country we must know this also current ari of our country is 1 to 2 percent on an average it is 1.5 percent now how can you interpret it numerically okay it means that for every one percent rise in or 1% rise of ARI okay for any country if there is 1% rise of ARI then there are going to be 50 sputum positive cases okay 50 sputum positive cases per 1 lakh population is it clear all right so if your the current tuberculosis conversion index or ari of a country is 1.5 percent and for every one percent rise of ari for any country there are going to occur 50 sputum positive cases per one lakh population so you must know this also so this was incidence of tb infection sorry uh yes now uh, let's try to understand one second yes let's try to understand over here in this slide the question was best indicator of trend of tb unaffected by control measures so as i told you it is annual risk of infection or it is tuberculosis conversion index meaning all those who were tuberculin negative over a period of one year how many became tuberculin positive now what is prevalence of tb infection so prevalence of tb infection is simply simply given by prevalence of tb infection is given by a tuberculin test okay if we do a standard tuberculin test right now in a community we will know how many people in that community have been exposed so to the tb bacilli they are not yet diseased they are exposed they are infected there is a difference between infection and disease we have become infected but we are not yet diseased maybe due to our good nutritional status and immunity all those things okay so prevalence of tb infection is all those percentage of people okay or percentage of people who are going to show okay who show reaction to standard tuberculin test okay so who show reaction to standard tuberculin test so if we are positive it means that we have been exposed to tb bacilli and that is the meaning of prevalence of tb infection got it so since it's percentage it's almost 40 percent okay in india which could be taken as the prevalence of tb infection now come to this one practical index of tb case load so here we are trying to ask you about the tb case load that means we are asking you about the prevalence of the tb disease so when we have to find out what is the prevalence of disease or when i have to find out what is the incidence rate of the disease okay then we simply have to go and do a sputum smear micro Microscopy. This also becomes microscopy. This also becomes the epidemic marker of tuberculosis disease. All right. Now we are done with infection. We have to find out how many are diseased. So if we do the sputum smear microscopy among the new cases, it will tell us about the incidence of disease. All right. Incidence of TB disease. And if you do it among new plus old cases, all right, then it is going to tell us about the prevalence of disease so over here the case load the tb case load is best denoted by prevalence rate of the disease all right which is given by sputum smear microscopy sputum smear microscopy is the first investigation of choice in any person who presents with cuff for more than two weeks duration okay so this is one of the first investigation of choices for mass screening of tb okay to detect people who are likely to be developing the disease so 
so just to sum up here i had asked you incidence of tb disease therefore it was sputum smear positive had i asked you tb infection then it would become positive tuberculin conversion index had i asked you uh, prevalence of tb infection it would become positive tuberculin test if i ask you gold standard for tb diagnosis so gold standard everybody for tb diagnosis please remember is liquid culture it's not cb nat cb nat is recommended to detect tb in certain conditions like people living with hiv it becomes first investigation of choice for people living with hiv extra pulmonary cases pediatric tb drug contacts of drug resistant tb all right all those things so we'll be discussing that in another video however today i hope you've understood these epidemiological indicators of tuberculosis everyone so we have incidence of tb disease which is tb infection which is given by tuberculosis conversion index or annual risk of infection then we have prevalence of tb infection which is given by a standard tuberculin test and incidence and prevalence of disease is given by sputum smear microscopy so i hope all of you have understood today's video if you have any doubt queries do comment in the comment section also you can subscribe to batches on an academy where i teach psm so if you found psm learning not interesting so far now is the time to make psm learning interesting also you can download my app on community medicine which is crack psm with dr neha and where i have uh, taught the entire community medicine so uh, yeah that's it thank you so much have a very good day students my free classes on an academy are 9 am every day in the morning so you can attend those free classes also okay bye bye guys have a good day